So in the last two lessons, we saw how to apply the light shader and work with the light settings. So now let's throw in a tone shader as well. So tone shader just works like a light shader. So if you haven't already seen my lesson on how to apply light shader settings on last two set lessons, then do see that out first. So over here, what I'm going to just throw in out of um, out right here onto the node view is a tone shader just like this. So I, uh, I already have my normal map. I already have my volume object, my drawing, and of course the light shader right here. So just like in light shader, I need to drag in my normal map onto the center, my volume object onto the right hand side over here. And then I'm going to drag the tone shader over here onto the composite. And now you can see the tone shader right over here on the right side. So what I need to do now is I need to bring a light position as well. So I'm just going to bring in another light position and this is going to be the position for the tone shader, just like this, as you can see. So now this is light position one. I can expand this out and what I can do is I can change the position right over here, as you can see. So I can change the position of the tone over here and change out where it actually uh, comes uh, at. So you can see that it is right here at the bottom now. So I can go over here onto the side. Let's change the axis right over here onto the side. And there you go. So you can see that this is how you'll be able to change that out over here as well. So you just like controlling the light position itself. So you see the controls over here as well. So this is the light as you can see. So you can actually go over here on to view, show and control and you can see the light, uh, the shadow shader that is the tone shader as you can see right here. So it just works like the light. So you can change this out. You can change this around over here as you can see. And there you go. There's the shade right over here. So let me just bring this down on to the bottom. So let me just go around here, position Y and let's see that side or that side or something like that. And you can go around, work around with these shades as over there as you can see as well. So what you can do is you can go on to the tone shader, you can click on it and you can change it into directional, into point light, into spotlight according to what you need, just like as you would with regular light shader as we saw in the last lesson. So you can go for different shading type like sharp shading types over here as you can see as well. So you want that 2D look and you can go for sharp shading settings. Same for uh, the light shader as well. So you can go over here and then you can have smooth or sharp as you can see. So you have a sharp type, a sharp type of a lighting over there. You can also go over here and ha have a sharp type of a lighting from over there. But that is usually uh, for a flat like graphics but not for a 3D like um, a bit of 3D like graphics right over there. So let me just change that back into smooth uh, just like that. So you got uh, this 3D look as you can see. So without any light shader, you can see that this kind of graphics can be turned into something like this, which has a volume. So uh, Toon Boom actually tries to add in the volume for us. So you can go on to the volume object. Uh, and then a not volume object, but you can go on to the normal maps right over here, change the level of effect right over here. So let's say 80 right over there. Once you do that, the level of bevel changes and you get a different look just like that, as you can see right there. So that is what you can do. Um, and uh, that's how you can add in the tone shader, the um, light shader and of course the normal maps inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So I hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.